Once again, I'd like to share with you my random thoughts about, um, let's say, acceptance. Can you imagine why dogs are man's best friend? Isn't it that even if we sometimes don't treat them well when we're angry or whatever for what they did as an animal, they still accept us with a wagging tail unconditionally. So it works just the same for human being. Um, it could be a different story, but uh, it also happens that um, we are not able to accept other people who tend to annoy us, irritate us with um, somewhat annoying habits or traits. It, you feel like you're not being treated very well. But do you think um, it is very beneficial if we considered uh, accepting others as they were that might give us peace? It is a matter of fact that people are different from one another. And uh, one way that we could consider thinking uh, if we avoid dwelling with that resentment or dissension or the, the anger that it causes us because we don't like it. Um, of course, nobody wanted to be told what to do with their lives. That's the last thing that I wanted to happen. So, but basically, everybody might feel the same way. And, um, but anyhow, if we manage to uh, make them feel accepted, no matter what, even if the, we are uh, not agreeable with what they were doing or how they were treating us or what they are saying, it develops closeness. That sense of uh, acceptance make that person change maybe be more kind and um, it will develop bond or closeness mm, in particular um, it will improve relationships with our children with our husband or friend or any member of the family um, you will experience growth as a matured person when you accept others you will focus on some changes from you to them from them to you because you will be continue having continuous relationship because you're not going to close the door you're not going to uh, close the thread or the conversation or the relationship or any connection and um, that will actually foster a unique skills or talents of improving shortcomings don't tell me that if they have shortcomings you don't have and that you are perfect there's no such perfect thing. Um, accepting other people's flaws will enable us to um, let go of that control and enjoy the benefits that will occur after if you let them as they were. Um, it doesn't benefit anybody if someone changed because someone told them involuntarily because that will not be consistent uh, you have more you have you can have more peace in a sense that you don't have to argue you just let them and let them realize you kill them with kindness 
you showed them what how you wanted to be treated so that they will be treating you just how you love it as simple as that you know just simply um set an example although i realized that um accepting other people's annoying traits idiosyncrasies things that seems to be unconditionally unacceptable for you is truly challenging and that makes it more fun right so basically it is important to remember however that accepting people does not mean you have to condone their annoying ways or but simply you need to accept that how they were you have a choice anyhow you can live with it or leave them so basically um it doesn't mean that you are powerless over them it's just a matter of not wasting energy to fight if that's how they were so you just have to make a conscious decision and action whether or not you can live with it or leave them you turn your back on them so you have a choice instead of fighting from my last video i actually have talked about not to fight anymore i'm 52 i'm old and i'm sick but life goes on right so it's just a matter of um trying to be more mindful about things accepting things as a reality we cannot change a person just per se as we wanted just because it is not acceptable to us so it's just a matter of uh, trying to be open mind and uh, be able to make a good or better choice um, we don't need to get their approval neither that a lot of people are trying just to be accepted they are doing what other people are doing despite it's not according to their rules of life of personal goals of being but nevertheless it's just a matter of trying to be more open-minded about the differences no one is the same with another one with another person they are different from one way or another uh it's just a matter of learning how to accept yourself in the first place of course we know for a matter of fact that there are things that we are not able that we ought to do just because it's our choice things like for me i am not a bad person but neither a lazy person just that i'm not a good housekeeper but with times i change and grow as a better woman now i'm trying to do some chores which i never did when i was young for a reason but it's not because i've been told that's the last thing that i wanted and everyone else to be told what to do with their own lives so changing for the better if there are things that is annoying to other people um just simply need an acceptance it does not mean that you will let them be disrespectful but your reaction to it positively might give an impact on the po more positive results for mutual benefit and a more closer relationship 
um uh there's a lot of things that uh that will reflect on how they were brought up or possibly an experience when they were a child that made an impact that they are seeking for acceptance and sometimes overpowering and becoming someone unacceptable just like a siga who tend to become uh, undesirable because they are, it's a sense of defense mechanism of becoming strong because they are actually weak so it's just a matter of trying to psych another person it doesn't mean that you will allow other people to disrespect you but being able to be more understanding like a dog unconditionally loving despite anything as long as you have reason to continuously getting a relationship with that individual it is not it's, it, it does not value your being a person if you are in control for you to change another person's wrongdoing but it's just a matter of accepting them as you would love to be just like what I was saying just do what you would like to be treated by other individual and that's it and you just dare not to do what you, do, you don't want others to do unto you it means to say that if you are you hate being told what to do with your own lives that's fine you can possibly give unsolicited opinion or maybe make a suggestion or an advice in a way that will not create any fight but if it's too much you have a choice you can live with it or leave them if you can no longer tolerate what I'm saying is that it's not worth it to fight if there are things that is somewhat conditionally unacceptable if you can manage to accept it and let them grow and learn how to be better than that you will be the one to be benefited but of course there is always an end for everything after all effort exerted trying to be more understanding and patient it's your own choice at your own pace you may have a very short patience you might have a very narrow understanding about other people it's yours it's your call so my focal point is that if you can manage to act as a matured person but of course you should know your boundaries you feel like it truly is very disrespectful and that you don't deserve it being done repetitively and it does not make any changes despite you try to give them a chance to become somewhat better than that it's no longer your fault you have your own life to live and you have your own choice and I may say that if you can choose to be happy it's not okay every time all the time but it's okay not to be okay sometimes but overall you have a choice you don't need to be in control of other people but you must surely become in control 
of your own lives, of your own decision, how you feel, what you think. If they don't respect what you think, what you feel, in the long run, and it does not make any impact after all that you were able to share that you felt bad about what they did and they don't feel guilty and they think it's just normal and you cannot take it anymore you can turn your back you can stop it's your own race so you must be the one to know until when you can manage to take anything that is not to your delight but what i'm saying is that if you can manage to at least give them all the chances to understand and be able to accept better things than that for them to become a better person or give you a better treatment or respect love and affection that you deserve it's your right but you, you also give them the right about what they think what they feel if they insist that they are right and you don't accept them personally and it makes you feel bad disrespected and unloved you have a choice but the good thing is if no ifs and buts if you were able to give all effort exerted to let them understand how it is for you and for both of you or all humanities being a person being a good one it's their call you also have your own choice how you want to live and how to let other people treat you you can put an end to something that is not to your delight and that you are not happy about uh, like what I talk, talk about positivity it's not simply positivity but acceptance is a matter of a great challenge on how far you can accept annoying traits or anything not to your like somewhat disrespectful or not loving uh, treatment from other people you have the right but you don't have to be in control over theirs you can turn your back on them you can avoid people that makes you feel bad it is as simple as that to say but of course uh, despite what other factors considered like loving them and they are not treating you right it's your choice but remember that if i'm saying that you must learn how to accept other people's flaws you also must be able to accept possible reason why they are treating you as such or as bad as that there might be a reason but if it's not fair on your part as you think so and you don't feel good anymore you can quit it's just a vague topic on how but accepting other people giving due respect on who they really are is a reality that strikes that sucks but it's your choice thank you so much everybody for listening to my mema and have a beautiful day